For the record, your name is? Um, Lieutenant Doug Pittman, P-I-T-T-M-A-N with the Marin County Sheriff's Office. What do we have here? Uh, this morning around 8.30 a.m. we received a 911 phone call from family members of the occupants who live at this residence indicating they had come to the home to check on family members and upon entering the residence found two subjects uh, apparently deceased. Uh, they even initially reported the fact they felt they were victims of gunshot wounds. Uh, deputies responded to the house, uh, subsequently confirmed what was suspected that we have two individuals uh, dead of apparent gunshot wounds. And uh, right now, as we stand here, detectives of the sheriff's office, along with coroner's investigators, are here on scene, mm -hmm. um, beginning their investigation as to what led to the circumstances today and potentially causing manner of death. Where were the bodies found? Bodies were located in one of the rooms inside of the residence, one of the bedrooms. One of the bedrooms? Correct. Where were they shot? How many? Can you give us any details? On Right now, I can't give any details. As I stated, right now we're in the process of getting a search warrant. At that point, we'll be able to conduct a, a more thorough and detailed investigation of our crime scene. Can you tell us the nature? Are they older people, younger people, the residents? Uh, they are an older couple um, who live at this residence. And uh, again, uh, cause and manner of death and, and, and why we're here today is still yet to be determined. That'll be determined once we have our search warrant. We have a chance to actually go in and, and get a closer inspection of the residence. You're going to be here all day. We're going to be here for a little while. Do you know how long it's been since they were contacted, uh, giving the relatives reason to come over and maybe check? Were they checked on because they were concerned that they hadn't heard from him, or do you know those details? Yeah, they were concerned. The family members were concerned of, of, about the residents who lived here, and that's what brought them to come here today. Um, exactly how long it's been since they last saw or spoke to them, I, I don't have that information right now. Can you say anything about the nature of the concern, why they were concerned? No, that I can't speak to as of yet. The children? Can't speak to the uh, uh, relationship of the relatives. Okay. Do we uh, have any reason to think that there could be a threat to the community out here? No, thank you for asking. Right now, all information from our investigation leads us to believe there's absolutely no threat to the neighborhood, there's absolutely no threat to the community here in Nevada. Is there any suspicion of foul play or anything broken into the home? No, no obvious indications of that at all at this point. But again, we're in the process of getting a search warrant. This will give us an opportunity to take a, a real closer look at the residents and of our crime scene to determine what in fact took place. Does it look like an isolated situation that happened in the home? I believe it to be, yes. And we can't Stay. We can't say right now whether this was any kind of murder-suicide, but something that would be under consideration. That's absolutely under consideration. That's uh, something we're looking into. So we're talking about a husband and wife? That I can't confirm the uh, status, uh, the family relationship between the two individuals. Male, female? Male, female. Is it clear who shot who first? Um, again, that's information that I can't disclose at this point. Um, more information hopefully will be available later today. Again, we're waiting to get our search warrant before we can begin to uh, complete the picture of what it is we're looking at here today. Did you mention if there's a gun? Did there, you see a gun in the house? There was a weapon found inside the house, correct. Just one? At this point. What kind of weapon? Can't speak to that yet. And uh, again, the ages of these people, kind of ballpark? Uh, something we're confirming, elderly couple, if I had to guess, I'd say somewhere in their uh, mid-70s. You have IDs on them? We have tentative ID on that, but uh, that is something we can't confirm until the coroners complete their portion of our investigation. Thank you very much.